Hey there, as many of you know, only half of my speech got recorded at TEDx Rotterdam. So the second half is still the original, but I tried to recreate the first half, and I hope you enjoy it. Uh, the mic is over there. Oh, you take this one. No problem. Imagine you could wake up to a world where you have the freedom to pursue your passions and become the best you can be. What if I told you it's easier than you think and everyone can do it? But we live in a society where money rules our world and this can have a profound effect on your life. So you might get out of college and get a job that pays the bills rather than go for a job that feeds your soul. You might go out into the world and grab a partner that seems nice but isn't the one for you because you're afraid of being lonely. In our society, everything is available to you, so you might seek out to fill your holes with an overconsumption of food, gadgets, and information, and this makes you overstimulated. What if I tell you that with a simple little idea, you can take the first step to design the life that you dream about and actually live it? About four to five years ago, I discovered something by looking for the commonalities between all of my successful mentors, and what I discovered changed the way I thought the world worked. And most of all, it changed the way I live and define my life. The way I define life is actually very simple. There are three areas where you can put any and every problem into. Each area has an internal and an external component. The areas are health, wealth, and relationships. To give you an example, take relationships. The external is the one we see, like our friends and family. And the internal is the relationship we have with ourselves. Do we appreciate who we are? Are we happy with what we've accomplished? What everyone seems to leave out is that everything is connected. Screw up one area in your life and everything will go down, slowly but surely. Improve one area in your life and everything will start going up, slowly but surely. Let's take building a three-legged table for a second. If you focus on building only one leg, the table won't stand. If you overfocus on one leg, the table will be slanted. So the key is to have a balanced focus while you're working on all three elements simultaneously. So the other day I was talking to a friend and in the last couple of months he was overfocusing on building his fifth business and he invested too much time and money into an idea that failed. And as he was going through that horrible process, he started neglecting the other areas in his life, his relationships and his health. And his girlfriend of several years couldn't handle it anymore and she left him. As I was talking to him, he became aware once again how the three areas are connected and that his health could suffer next. And that by focusing on improving all three areas again, starting with wealth, by building in accountability and several tracking systems, it'll slowly but surely balance him out again and give him an opportunity to focus on his health and relationships. And it's this idea that most of the people I talk to seem to neglect. Everyone knows it exists, but not everyone actively pursues a balance in their life which unfortunately results into many stories like my friend, or maybe you might know someone who neglects his or her health or relationships. Because he or she might live in a society that is made to get as much performance out of us as possible to put into our jobs while neglecting the rest. But as I just mentioned, singling out one area in your life can result in a long-term collapse while actively being aware and executing on the idea of having a balanced life with an optimal health, wealth, and relationships can result in a long-term success. I believe that this idea, everyone should know that this idea and these trackers and systems exist because those are the key to unlocking freedom so that we can follow our passions and become the best we can be. That is why I believe this idea can make our lives a little bit better. And that's why I believe this is an idea worth sharing. Well, that almost sounded like a poem, did you think? 
you can uh, say the word. Um, I ask you a very hard question. Because you think you have the three things you have to keep in balance. But still I'm going to ask you, what's the most important thing for one of the three? Yeah. Uh, the other day I was actually talking to a friend and um, health and relationships in some way are a luxury. Because if you don't have enough money to buy your food and to have shelter, mm -hmm. then you can't focus on your health and relationships. So in some way you should focus on having a constant stream of income so that your main necessities are covered. And then you should really focus on your health, external health, the way you feel, but also internal health, your mental health. And relationships is one of the key components, especially for entrepreneurs. Most of the executives that I help, they've neglected relationships completely. They are 30, 40 years old, don't have a partner, don't have children and they they have a lack they have a hole in their body and yeah that's that's my take <laughs> okay i'm uh, as you know as i mentioned i'm an entrepreneur <laughs> and sometimes i le look at the things in a business perspective uh when we uh, want to scale your ideas scale up your uh, ideas tell me something about that the reason I came to TEDx is because right now we live in a society, like I said, where jobs and performance is number one. We have very big voices that promote performance. Work 100 hours, work 120 hours. And I agree with that. What they leave out is that those top executives also make time for their friends and family and also make time for their health. Yes, they have personal trainers but still taking half an hour to actually think about your health and actually think about your relationships. Executives do that, but yet they give the advice of a 100-hour work week to startups, and these startups only listen to that. So I'm here, as in some way I feel a lone voice, to scream out these executives are also focusing on their health and relationships. You can't leave that out. Maybe they neglect saying that, but it's the reality. Thank you.